Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today we're going to be putting together this Producer's Pride Sentinel Chicken Coop. Holds six chickens. Very, very nice. The instructions are pretty easy to follow, just step by step. Hardware is all in one bag, mostly just a, a Phillips screwdriver and a crescent wrench should take care of almost everything we need to do. First part to assemble is the nesting box back area. I just get part one and part two. Part three is the same side, the other side. Just get this six by, uh, I think this is 30 millimeter bolt. Slide that right in there. This is, again, this, this is real easy. Any, anyone, anyone can put this together. Boom, just like that. I got part four here, which is the side panel. I got some M6 by 45 bolts and some lock nuts. I'm gonna slide this through the top hole, slide it through the bottom hole, leaving the center one open. Don't put one on that. Tighten it down with the crescent wrench and the, and the drill. Move on to the other side. Next item are our nesting box support bars and our clean-out tray support bars. Those are part seven for the clean-out tray, part six for the nesting box supports. And we're gonna use the M6 by 30 on all of them except for the second uh, nesting box support bar because it's going through the, the side panel and the nesting box panel. It's gonna use the 45 millimeter, the longer one. So 30, 45, 30, 30, get all four of these mounted. Move to the next step. Now I take the nesting box bottom, slide it right into the groove that should fit down in there. That was uh, part eight. And I get these part nines, these dividers, slide them right in the grooves. And you've got three nesting boxes easily set up. This, this whole thing is coming together very, very easily. Then I take part 10, the clean out tray, slide it right, right in there. It's got a stop on the other side, keeps it from falling out. Next is part 12, which is the back. And the back has these hinges on here for the nesting box cover. Make sure the hinges are at the bottom. Take the 30 millimeter bolts, slide them through, get four of those on, and you'll have this back panel secured, and then we can move on. I take your part 13, the front, get your door part 14, slide it right in the hole there. And that way you've got a door, slide it all the way over there, and it is open, and uh, now we can install it. Tighten up the 30 millimeter bolts on either side. And if you have trouble getting this in, what you might want to do is take out the tray, loosen this uh, last tray support bolt. That will allow this uh, frame to open up a little bit, and that'll be, that way you can slide it in, get these tight, once you get those tight, and then you can re-tighten that support bar. Now we're gonna get the nesting box cover. It's asphalt top. Slide it up under. It's got holes for the um, uh, hinges there. You slide the hinges down over the pre-drilled holes. Should line up. You get your number 28 self-tapping screws. They're the ones with the rounded heads. And you can just set them right on top of the holes there. And then we will use our screwdriver and just pound them in. Now we need to attach our hinge supports to the bottom side of the nesting box lid. And uh, you're gonna use the part number 29, these tapping screws with the flat head. And they're the larger tapping screws with a flat head. And you've already got these um, marks of where this should go. So you just line it up to it. Once you get it right in the center of this box, screw that in and it should do the same thing on the other side.
Now we just got to push down the supports. The lid should close. And now we're going to install this locking mechanism under this hasp. And uh, I'll show you the orientation of it on the board here. So this piece here has this little curved side right here. This curved side is gonna go just like this. Slide that right over there, and then you'll know exactly where that goes. Lift this up, and now we can put our, again, number 30, really small tapping screws right in these holes. So I'm just gonna mark them, make little holes, indentations, and I'll know exactly where to screw those in. I had the little latch piece off when I was putting the screws in. Make sure you put it back on before you put the first top two screws in. Slide this down, and then I just rotate that to where it goes through the hole here, like that, and then to lock it, it slides over like this, and that locks it in place. Now we're gonna install our asphalt roof. Um, the metal part goes up top. You're gonna get a couple of your uh, 30 millimeter bolts. Line it up with the holes right here. Again, don't tighten it too tight just yet. Get everything lined up. Once you get lined up, tighten it down. Do the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to have this 17, the part 17. This is the cap. And that cap, we're going to use the self-tapping screws, I believe 29. That's the flat top ones, the bigger ones. And that's going to uh, keep the water coming out of the ridge here. So let's get this other panel installed and get the ridge cap on. All right, now the ridge cap should fit right on there. And we already have these holes right on the ends, the four of them, that for those uh, self-tappers. Get these self-tappers. See, there's holes right here. Get them lined up. Use a screwdriver. Get it started. Now, we may end up having to loosen these top panels to get the hole to line up over there. So let me get the other end now, and then we'll come back and do that one. All right, let's see what that hole is right there. Lines up on this one very easy. And I don't think this one's going to, oh, it might line up. I may get lucky here, guys. Before I tighten that up, though, see if I can get it to line up right in there. Actually, it might. Is it going to line up? Yes. I think it is. Yes, I got it, guys. All right. Line right up. Tighten this one down. And I'll see if I can get the one on the other end. That one didn't look as good. All right. Can I get this one lined up? Actually, guys. I think I am going to get this one to line up as well. Yes. Won't you like it when a plan comes together? Perfect. Yeah. Now it's time to get our ramp installed. We got these brackets right here, and there's these little holes down below, and the holes are what holds the uh, ramp on. So to install these, just get a couple of your 30 millimeter bolts, and uh, you've got the uh, lock nuts. Put it through each piece of board here. This bracket will go on just like that. That right there, curved over. That way it holds in the place. Get my bolt or my nut on there. Gonna do the same thing on this side. Get this bolt through the hole. Bracket like that. Nut, lock nut on here. Let's get these tightened up. And once we get them tightened up, we'll be able to uh, hang it very, very easily. Get this slid under here, and now the chickens can ooh, 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 up the rip. All right, now time for the side panels. We got parts 20 and 21. They slope down. 21 has the door on this side. You want to put them on the inside of the brackets. Use 30 millimeter bolts. Just get it lined up. Slide it through the hole. Once you get it slide, slid through, then you're going to put the uh, lock nut on there, top and bottom, inside be good to go. Now it's time for the M panel, which is part number 22. We're gonna get the longer 45 millimeter bolts. And uh, these also have nuts, so you slide them through the end and use the lock nuts. Again, it's four of them. Make sure you get it to where you can get it on the outside. Get all four of these in. And then we'll be able to move on to the roof. The roof panel, again, asphalt side up, uh, unmetalized edge towards the end. The holes should line up, get the 30 millimeter bolts. Get it put in there. I wouldn't, wouldn't tighten them down till you get them all in. Again, there's only four of them. And uh, one thing I really do 
like better about this um, uh, Sentinel is almost all of the almost all of the edging and the frame is metal. Uh, some of my older, the ones that destroyed in the in the storm, were wood wood edges, wood all wood. This one is metal, metal frame, metal uh, cloth here, and metal. Um, uh, structure and metal ridge cap. The, uh, the ridge cap on the other one was wood, it warped, it broke, and it started leaking. Metal. I like that a lot. So let's get the hole lined up here. Like, no, where's it at? There it is. That was way back here. There we go. <laughs> That's why you don't tighten things down till you're on it. Okay, there we go, right there. Now I got it. This one should line up. Now I can tighten it. Tighten all four of these. Almost time to put chickens in here. Time to put our roosting bar in, part 11. There's a groove right there, and same thing on the inside. And now they've got a roosting bar. Again, you can take this tray out. If you don't want to clean this out yourself, leave it out and then just go to the ground, or you can have the tray in for easy cleaning. The last step is to get our drip protector, part 31, attached. Now what this does, it's going to keep water from getting down in that groove above the door here. So all I'm going to do is get right to the center. I think that's the center right there. These self-tapping screws and I'm just going to put them all the way across. That way it should hold it, from, keep it from leaking. I'm going to make sure I pull it tight. There we go. Do the same thing all the way down. Again, it's more of a drip protection than anything. Oops. Don't drop it. Drip protection. Make sure I get it level here, there. Again, I've got five of them. Get them all the way across. Pretty much even. One, two, right there, be good. And one down here on this end. Two, two, let's see. Oh yeah, right there, be good. Again, that just keeps it from, you know, being rain going straight down inside of it. A couple features I like and don't like. I like this metal vent up here. In the wintertime, I can close it. In the summertime, open it up, make sure I get maximum airflow. I don't like these latches. These latches here, I do not believe are very secure. I don't have a way to pin them or lock them. They really don't, you know, if a dog, animal comes, you know, flipping up on this, I believe, a raccoon is smart enough to figure that out. Maybe not, that's just my opinion. I kind of prefer a uh, slide over pull down latch. That's just my opinion. We've got our hutch fully assembled. I'm very happy with it. Now we're gonna see if we can get our chickens rounded up, get them in a kennel, brought over here, and get them in their new home. So let's do this. Hope you enjoyed watching us put together our Producer's Pride Sentinel Six Chicken Coop. Uh, step by step procedure. I hope it was easy for you to follow. It was easy for me to put together. This thing is actually a very, very nice chicken coop for the money. If you like today's step by step procedure on how to put together this chicken coop, make sure you subscribe to Ridge Life's reviews and how to's. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out here on Ridge Life. So, guys, until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day and go Ridge Life.